north south kimura but we need some uh, variation and that's i call reverse kimura okay but before we get this we need a few steps on the side control and i'm going to show you guys what to do okay so Paul, can you move this way a little bit so first i start with side control number one that i like to be right here with my knees bent and my hands everything controlled but i feel that his elbow is under my belly so what i do i try to i try to hit that elbow hold the elbow and hold his shoulder here so now i'm gonna extend my leg to be very heavy and be on my toes i'm gonna pull his arm and i'm gonna slide always forward here i have a bunch of tacks so i can go for leg americana i can go for bar but I decide to step over his arm and just lock his arm. I could go for Americana here too, right? But I don't want what I want, I want a Kimura. So as soon as I lock his arm, my top leg, gonna, I'm gonna pull his head, then my top leg come over his head. Two things very important. When one knee drop on the ground, the other knee go up. So I'm gonna do this. And when I drop this one here, I lift this one here. So now I start turning him on the side and I allow the hand to hold his hand. Now instead of I fight for this Kimura here, that's gonna take me too long for make he tap out. I'm gonna put my hand on my thigh and I'm gonna keep pull his arm this way. So I know that he think that I'm holding with both of my hand. I come with this hand here and I hold his elbow. So the time that I fall on my side, I'm gonna kick my legs. I'm gonna keep holding his elbow and I'm gonna kick my leg and lock. Even he keep holding his arm, I'm gonna keep holding his elbow and I'm gonna push with the hand inside his arm. And I have a reverse Kimura. Let's go try guys, one, two, three.